Hi there, this is uh, Shrikan Dasare. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the concept of recursion in C. So the study of functions uh, would not be complete uh, if we don't uh, have an understanding about what is recursion and how it works. Okay. So let me launch the IDE. So I already have created a project under the name recursion here. So it contains so all the basic stuff, uh, recursion.c and all the basic stuff. Okay. So before jumping into uh, uh, programming, so let us understand some theory behind uh, so how the recursion process is carried out, uh, how the execution process. Okay. So here I have taken a, a small text file here, which contain which consists of uh, example factorial. Okay. So the the universally we're learning about recursion. Um, everyone shows the example of everyone looks into the example of factorial here. Okay. So that's the reason I have taken factorial of a number. So as you all know. Uh, the factorial of a number is not just nothing but uh, the previous the, the multiplication of all the previous numbers until that okay so if you take one factorial it will be one if you take two factorial it will be one and two multiplied okay so three factorial until three one two three and so on like this okay and four and five and so on followed like this okay so if you observe carefully uh, here three factorial is nothing but uh, computed uh, 2 factorial into 3 okay so here if you observe uh, until this part it is which is nothing but the previous one okay uh, 2 factorial followed by 3 so in the same way 4 factorial is nothing but 3 factorial multiplied by 4 okay so by this uh, understanding uh, you can one can understand that uh, n factorial would be n minus 1 factorial into n okay or uh, which is very essential for our uh, recursion here okay so if you uh, from the following steps uh, series of steps you can come to the conclusion that uh, n factorial is equal to n minus 1 factorial into n okay so that is very key for our uh, concept of recursion since recursion is a process of calling a function itself okay so we will look into that when we write the program so here so if you want to calculate the factorial of 5 based on this formula n factorial n factor n is equal to n factor is equal to n minus 1 factorial into n okay so that uh, based on this formula uh, n minus 1 or n factorial equal to, okay so 5 factorial of 5 would be 5 into uh, n minus 1 factorial that is factorial of 4 okay so in the same way the factorial of 4 will be 4 into uh, n minus 1 factorial 3 okay so in the same way and in the same way 3 uh, will be 3 into factorial of 2 and 2 will be factorial of 1 and factorial of 1 which is obviously 1 here okay so to calculate uh, here if you take example uh, factorial of 5 to calculate the factorial of 5 here so these are the following steps uh, how the process is carried out uh, while using recursion okay so in the same way uh, so this is until now we have gone from bottom to top so now uh, based on the values uh, previous values you know, finally you have to compute the result okay which is 120 so factorial of 5 is 120 so starting from factorial 2 uh, you get uh, you calculate the factorial 2 uh, 2 into factorial of 1 which is 1 okay so now you get the result as 2 here so in the same way you get you calculate the factorial 3 by calculating the factorial of 2 so in the from the previous it uh, statement you get the value of factorial of 2 which is 2 and just you get substitute it, substitute it here okay so 3 into factorial of 2 which is 2 and that is going to be the value of 6 so in the same way factorial of 4 would be 4 into factorial of 3 which is 6 6 into 4 24 so in the same way the factorial of 5 would be 5 into factorial of 4 based on this formula here 5 into factorial of 4 so that, that's what we have written here factorial of 4 is 24 so 24 into 5 which is 120 okay so this is the theory behind uh, the how the recursive functions will work okay so let us now uh, come back to our uh, programming part here to demonstrate the recursion uh, let's take a variable here int n is equal to let's say 5 okay so here we are going to compute the factorial for 5 using the recursion okay so let us take a function here so fact let's say let's name our function as fact and let's just pass the argument here okay 
So since we will return, uh, let's take uh, another variable here, factorial or some simply you can say f to catch the value of that uh, factorial. So f is equal to factorial. Since we are returning the value, okay. So coming back to our definition here, int. So let's name the uh, we have name of function as fact and the argument will be n. Okay. So here again, let's take another variable, or else not necessary. So if so, this is the beauty of recursion here. So whatever you wanted to do, you exactly represent the same thing. So if n is equal to one or zero, you just return the value one. Okay. Else. Return n star asterisk sorry fact of n minus one. That's it. You are done with your coding here. Okay. So this is the beauty of recursion here. So if you observe in our uh, theoretical demonstration, so every time our logic, uh, the behind the logic here is the file whatever the number you want to compute uh, into the factorial of uh, n minus one. Okay. So that's what we have. Uh, so exactly we have represented here okay so n followed by product of n minus 1 the, the next uh, the next one okay so in the same way here if you want to calculate the factorial of 4 4 into factorial of n minus 1 which is 3 okay so now let now let's just uh, print the value there let's print the value the factorial Of percentage d is percentage d n comma f okay so now let us uh, just save and run the program here oops we have an error here okay <laughs> we're gonna silly mistake for conio so factorial of 5 is 120 okay which is very obvious let us make the screen as little bit bigger okay so, so if you look into the program, the just very uh, clear and precise. Okay, so that's what uh, very useful when writing programs using recursion. Okay, so if at all the when the value of n is one or zero, since you know that the so this is you can take it as a base case. Okay, so recursion has uh, two cases here. One is base case, and the other one is recursive case. Okay. So you can take this as recursive case. So the recursion, the function calls, uh, we have studied that the recursion is nothing but a function calling itself. Okay. So recursion means function calling itself. So here, uh, how we have achieved that one is, uh, when the, the value of n is 1 or 0, you simply return the 1. Okay. So if not, if not, if that is not the case as here, if then the value of n is 5. So here what we are doing is, um, we are calling recursively our function until we meet the base condition here okay so until the value of n is 1 we we'll keep on calling the uh, base condition until the base condition is met okay so here the value of 5 if you look into the theory here so these are the steps which undergo uh, in the calculation of the recursion okay so first the value of 5 the uh, n the, the steps get represented here is n 5 star 5 asterisk so fact of n minus 1 5 minus 1 which is 4 okay so the function gets called once again with this as an argument okay so again since it is the one 4 is not equal to 1 it comes back here and keeps on executing okay so keeps on executing uh, like this until the base case is met okay the base case here is if n is equal to 1 okay so 1 or 0 so let's take it as 1 here so if n is equal to 1, it just calculates the factorial of 1, which is 1, okay, and then starts calculating from bottom to top, okay, so factorial 2 from 1, and factorial 3 from 2, and so on, until 120, okay. So if you want to check your program, you can just change the value to some 7, so just save and run the program, it works perfectly. So in the same way, if you have uh, 1, it just, the factorial of 1 is 1, which is obvious just throws one here okay so in the same way for convenience purpose we have kept zero also okay so factor of zero is one okay so in this way the recursion uh, concept works in c okay 
so base case and recursive case so the process un uh, undergoes like this okay so every time the function uh, gets called itself until the base case is met here so in this way the recursion i can take an example as recursion factorial as an example so see you in the next lesson goodbye